It's the log. It's always the log. The log should preferably be a gnarly piece of firewood like this. Although a cut piece of firewood will work also. But very clearly, Roberto has discovered years ago that placing the log and piece of driftwood on top of the bait hive greatly increases the chances of catching a nice swarm. Now this swarm could have chosen these three empty boxes there, but they don't have any comb in them. They already caught swarms. And one of these jester nukes caught a swarm and we've got, they have, do they still have frames in them? Yep, they have kind of funky plastic frames. We've got LGO in the left, Swarm Commander Lure on the right, LG over there, Swarm Commander Lure here. Do these have frames in them? Yeah, they got kind of some funky frames. Here we've got really nice extracting supers. Full sets of nice comb in here. Not really dark though. Now the question is, Besides the very important log, what kind of combs do we have in here? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, nice old brood nest combs. But very clearly, with all the choices of boxes there are around here, this very beautiful piece of driftwood is what convinced the bees that this was the box to choose. Now last year that nice round gnarly redwood burl caught a couple swarms but I, I have yet to catch do we have I don't know if we have frame I kind of doubt yeah we got frames in there but I have yet to catch a bait hive in a B-Max hive, even though we have B-Max hives over there. And earlier we had 15 B-Max hives all with combs. None of them caught anything. And I have for many years felt that plastic boxes and plastic hives and plastic frames are not as inviting to a swarm. You, these, this box that caught something, look at that nice swirling action. It had some kind of lure in it, but I took the tape off, so I'm not sure if this is Swarm Commander lure or LGO. But that doesn't matter, it's got the log. The log is very clearly the essential little detail that makes a Mastor Bator a Mastor Bator.